Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with a haul for you and today's haul comes from the land where everything used to be £1 but now a few things are £1.50, a few things are £2, a few things are £3. The odd naughty item is a fiver but the odd item is 50p. We like those ones. That was the longest way ever of saying I've been back to Poundland. It's been a while so I'm back with a Poundland haul today. I've got my coffee on the go, the candles are lit. It's all here in front of me and I'm going to take you through everything that I picked up in Poundland and we've got some good stuff today. There's a few new bits that we haven't seen before, some trusty old favourites and just loads of stuff that I think you're going to really like. So before we get into the video, quick sip of the coffee. There's a reversing truck outside but never mind that if you hear the beeps. And if you're new here do click subscribe, I post new videos every single week. And if you enjoy this Poundland haul then do give this one a thumbs up. Don't forget you can always catch me over on Instagram. It's Mr Carrington and Mr Carrington Home and I'll post on Mr Carrington Home stories items that I spy in store but maybe didn't end up in my basket. Hello motorbike. We've got all the traffic going on outside today. Okay, so the first thing that I got was these nifty kitchen stuff, kitchen organisers. So this is a two pack and these are kind of like clear acrylic kitchen organisers. So I'm thinking of using these in the fridge to place um, jars in and that sort of thing. But I thought they'd also be quite good for storing stationery and also my paints, where I've got my miniature pots of paint. So you can put the two things in the fridge or in a cupboard like this and then you can obviously reach and pull it out and see what you've got and obviously because it's clear plastic too it just means that everything is really easy to see and then really easy to access as well. This one is the perfect size to put things like jars of olive oil or spices in and then this one you could stack packets as well and I'm going to be getting back involved with my slow cooker so I've got all my seasoning mixes where I've got like my chilli mix, I've got my sausage and onion casserole mix, all of those mixes in the packets, imagine them lined up in there and I can just, you'll do and I'll pop it in the slow cooker, good to go. So that's the first little um, bit of storage that I've got, I've also got um, another piece, I've bought this before and I wanted to get one more, this is a bottle organiser. So as you can see again it's just kind of clear plastic but a basket style and yeah it just says bottle organiser so they've stood up some olive oil and ketchup and that sort of thing. I always like to check the barcode label as well and this one says organiser, wash before first use. So I will do that. Next up we have an item that I think many of you may have seen on Instagram, I've popped it on my Instagram as well and it's one of these glass pumpkins with this metallic finish so it's almost like a mercury finish on there. I don't know if you can see but it's got kind of mirrored paint on top of the glass. There we are and has a little switch underneath and it lights up so once it's lit it kind of looks more like a gold kind of colour but it is in fact, I think it's silver but it's hard to tell once it's lit because obviously the lights in there are yellow. This was £1.50 and yeah it's made of glass but I thought that was really good value. It reminds me of the ones that you can pick up in HomeSense and as there wasn't too many in HomeSense when I went into store I thought it was nice to see that in Poundland. So next up we have some paint. So this is their chalk finish furniture paint, a smooth touch matte flat finish and this one's in winter grey and I haven't seen that colour before in store so I thought that would be really good for some DIY projects that I've got coming up. You can see the colour on the lid there, so it's this really nice soft grey colour, so I thought that would be pretty good. And yeah, this stuff's alright, so not bad for £2 that was, so yeah, I'll keep you posted of any little upcycles and DIYs that I do with that. And then we've got some more paint here, I noticed they've got quite a good range of acrylic paints in store, and I thought the colours were quite nice in this set, they reminded me of um, quite, kind of quite autumn colours so I thought these would be quite good for any autumn crafts and yeah you get six in a pack they also had some really good um, branded paints as well they had um, some oil paints they also had some mini canvases that sort of thing stay tuned to the end of the video and at the end I'm going to insert some footage from in store of all the bits that I didn't pick up as well so you'll get a good look around Poundland at the end of the video too um, I also got some touchscreen gloves, so I thought these looked really handy. They're just a pair of black 
gloves and they've got the slightly different stitching on the fingertips so that you can wear your gloves and then also be able to use your phone because you know if you've got your gloves on it doesn't work does it so really handy for the winter time if I want to pop some gloves on and still be able to do what I do a bit of scrolling <laughs> that sort of thing so these are in the gift section they've actually started to get their Christmas gifts in store and they had quite a few nice little stocking filler ideas for one pound so I thought yeah I bought these for myself but I might get some more and put them away as presents uh, too and the barcode on this says gloves just in case you're wondering I also got um, this Shaw deodorant. This is the one that I use all the time and you will have heard me talk about this before if you are a regular viewer. I just find that this one does the job. It's Quantum Dry by Shaw and 48 Hour Protect. I mean, I, I wouldn't go 48 hours without showering, but in case you are going to anytime soon, it says that it will <laughs> keep you smelling good, we hope. Um, next up, I have some light up bottle stoppers. So I thought, these would be really nice, again, for a little upcycle project. I've used these in the past and I think they always look really good. So you've got the wire LED light and then a really simple kind of cork style um, stopper at the top that you place into a bottle. So I thought, really nice little idea to do some upcycles of maybe some old gin bottles or some vintage bottles. You know, the kind of really old school Victorian style ones that you can get that you'd see in chemist shops. I thought would look quite cool. Or even just washing out some bottles of wine or that sort of thing. Any bottles that you want to upcycle, um, I thought these would be really good for. And they've got the batteries in there as well. And you get two for one pound, so I thought that was pretty good. Um, we've also got some LED tea lights. So at this time of year, these are really handy for using around the home. Obviously with Halloween coming up, we've got things like pumpkin carving. Maybe you've got areas of your home where you don't want to have naked flames or you've got pets or children around. So really handy for that. These are a four pack flickering battery operated LED tea lights and they're just in plain white. And the barcode label says candle. Candles, sorry, there we are. Um, what's next? We have some more um, LED lights. These ones, I love the look of these. So these are pumpkin lights. So these are actually metal, I think. Let's just take them out to check. The barcode label says string lights. And yeah, they're little metal pumpkins, which I thought looked like really nice quality and look quite cool. So I might just spread these out across the mantelpiece. But yeah, for one pound, I thought they were fab. And as I said before, do stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll show you a few other options that they had in store of these. because They had different metal ones too, which I thought were really nice. There might be something else that floats your boat in the footage at the end. Okay, next up we have a plain and simple pillar candle. So these are one pound in store. They also had ones of this size that were fragranced and there was an orange one which smelled really good. I can't remember what the fragrance was. It might be in the footage at the end, but yeah, it smelled incredible. This one, is just an unscented plain wax candle. It's 253 grams and the burn time is 36 hours on that. But I just always think that these look really nice, really classic and simple. So yeah, I'm thinking maybe with some pine cones around the base, that sort of thing, maybe on a little stand. Any ideas what we can do with that? Do let me know in the comments down below. And then next up, a few more bits to show you. We've got some food. I tried not to go, you know, <laughs> too overboard with the food situation in there, but I did pick up these. We have these new Twixes. So these are Twix salted caramel fingers. And we have, how many do we have? Nine, is it upside down? No, nine 23 gram, um, so it's 207 grams. And I think these might've been two pounds, but I forgot. So let's just check the receipt. Because I feel like this is the sort of detail that we, we need. How much were they? They were one pound, there we are. So that's pretty good, isn't it, for 207 grams? Um, yeah, for your salted caramel fingers. Sound delicious, don't they? I'll get involved with those as soon as I've finished filming with you. And then we have a diary. So the diaries have started to come into store. And I like the look of this one. I'm not sure if I'll use it, but this is the kind of size diary that I like to have on the desk and I've got a similar planner this year that I've been using. Great for planning out all my videos and that sort of thing. This says diary on the barcode and it's kind of like a 
how would you describe that? Almost like a cork design, I guess. And then it's got a very pale lilac, <laughs> I'm gonna say, um, with the months. So inside, it's kind of divided up like that. And then we have, Okay, I don't think I'm going to use this. <laughs> this is the thing. <laughs> Sometimes you open it and you're like, oh, that wasn't what I was expecting. What I'm going to do is pop this away for a gift or I'll include it in my Christmas giveaway, which I'm going to stockpile a load of stuff and put it in a box and do a giveaway come Christmas time. So one of you might like this Stardust Diary and it might be winging its way to you in the giveaway. But we have this style. So you actually write the start date in and then you plan your days morning, afternoon and evening. And I just don't think this layout's quite right for how I like to look at my week. I like to have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, small Saturday, small Sunday. I think that's called a week to view. And now my phone's ringing. I'm going to have to cut the video. I was going to try and go no edit, but there we are. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. It is all go today. So where were we? Yeah, um, diary. <laughs> Maybe going into the giveaway box. Let me know, would you use a diary like this? But yeah, now you've seen what's inside, so <laughs> maybe have a little peek um, inside the diaries before you commit to one if you do um, go into Poundland to buy a diary. But yeah, they've got loads in store, so um, good place to pick one up for one pound. Um, then I picked up these. So these are these Eat Green 6 Eco-Friendly Plates, and the barcode says, Plates do not wash, wipe clean only. But I thought these looked really nice. I really like the um, effect that these have. And these did turn out to be £2 at the till, so yeah, keep your eyes peeled for the pricing in Poundland now because lots of items are no longer £1, but really nice, I thought, as an alternative to paper plates. And yeah, I'm not sure about the fact that they're only wiped clean. I guess that's okay. Um, you could give them a rinse, I think, and dry them off. It says do not wash, but I think you could definitely rinse them or just wipe over with some like uh, soapy water, maybe on a dishcloth, and then dry them off. So yeah. Um, happy with those. I might actually DIY something with those. Stay tuned. Then we have a calendar. Let's hope I'm not going to be disappointed <laughs> with the layout of this. So this is a calendar with some different animals on the front. We've got a zebra there and a elephant, etc. And then the label on the back says calendar. I really like the navy blue of this. They also have uh, matching diaries and also desk calendar ones that you flip over. There's even a ribbon on the bottom, which is quite nice. And yeah, I'm liking this one, I have to say, because we have simple layout. For a calendar, I just like it so you can just see the month at a glance, and then maybe the odd date I will write on it. So I wouldn't go crazy, but I'd probably put a few birthdays, maybe like a holiday, that sort of thing. And then up here, we have a different section which has a to-do list, a shopping list, and some notes which probably is quite handy. Maybe like if you have a regular shopping list, you could write on here the things that you always need to remember when you go to the supermarket, that sort of thing. Or maybe some like big important to do things for the month ahead. So yeah, happy with that one. And I think it looks really nice too with the navy blue. So very pleased with that. Then we have a dustpan and brush. My dustpan went missing recently. I was on a little job. I'll tell you about that in the future. And dustpan went AWOL. So we now have a new one. One pound, can't go wrong. And I quite like the design of this one too. Just the simple um, black and then a little white at the end. It's kind of like a badger, is it? <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, anyway, um, this one on the um, barcode says dustpan and brush set in black. And yeah, just thought that was quite a nice simple one. And it's got a good, um, I don't know what you call that bit, but that bit at the end that will stick to the floor so you don't get bits going underneath which I think is important with a dustpan. So it's got a good rubber seal, we'll call it. I don't know if that's the word for it. What's the word for that? Don't make me say it. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. That's what I'm saying. And we have, last but not least, we have some more pumpkins. These are pumpkin lights, eight lights in a gold mercury finish. They also had them in a silver mercury finish. These are two pounds. You can check the prices on the back of items in Poundland where you see this here. That will be the price of the item. Let's see if I can give you a different example. Yeah, here as well. So I should have looked at that. See that? Two pounds. And I've popped some batteries in just before uh, filming so that I can show you these lit up. And I'm really pleased with these. I think for two quid, 
really good. And here they are with the lights on. How nice are they? I'm thinking of getting strung across the mantelpiece or along the fireplace, reflecting. Will they reflect here? Let's have a look. Pop them back there for the minute, um, just while I finish off the video. But yeah, really pleased with those and nice with this one as well, nice together. So yeah, I think that is everything that I've got to show you from the land where everything used to be one pound. So I really hope you enjoyed this haul and stay tuned because we're gonna jump into the footage in store now. So before we do, if you're new here, do click subscribe for new videos every single week. Give the video a little thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And now let's take a look in store at what else I spied in Poundland. Town pretty late. I spent the week thinking about her. Next day, it was easier than so much easier than. Oh, like that time I picked you up outside of school. You said, Screw my dad, I make my own rules. It was easier than so much easier than. Take me back to the Take me back to those easy summer days When we stopped at nothing, babe Yeah, we stopped at nothing, baby They couldn't take us, they couldn't change us They couldn't catch us if they tried Now we didn't care at all About winter or spring or fall We felt so alive and girl, we were thriving on kisses and sunshine and mischief yeah, we had one of those things uh, We just had one of those things Ooh. I guess I've had some things to figure out But now that I'm done, I'm full of doubt Was it easy for you? Yeah, was it too easy for you? You used to say that you would always be mine But you seem to be doing just fine Now I think about you I just can't seem to stop thinking about you Take me back to the Take me back to those easy summer days When we stopped at nothing, babe Yeah, we stopped at nothing, baby They couldn't take us They couldn't change us They couldn't care as if they tried Now we didn't care at all About winter or spring or fall We felt so alive And girl, we were thriving On kisses and sunshine and mischief Yeah, we had one of those things When we stopped at nothing, baby Change us, they couldn't catch us if they tried. Now we didn't care at all about winter or spring or fall. We felt so alive and girl, we were thriving on kisses and sunshine and mischief. Yeah, we had one of those things. Ooh, we just had one of those things. Kind of strange, I can 
for a better chance at a great moment and i'm just not getting any braver cause nobody gets nobody gets nobody gets me. i'm looking for faith looking for love in every direction i'm looking for someone to show me the way when my map is torn up give me a light when my torch is blown out Forever. You taught me how to love and nothing could be better than you and me, you and me, baby, it was you and me. We could never fall, but nobody could break us here, I thought we had it all. Take me back to when it was you and me, you and me, baby, it was you and me.
stepped into my life Such a magic feeling We tore down my walls I wish I could go back To right before you told me I'd try to change it all But look at us now Could have gone so far It hurts to realize we're parted Yeah, look at us now This is who we are and I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again, again, again so there we go, I really hope you enjoyed this Poundland haul. If you did, do give it a little thumbs up and do click subscribe if you're new here for new videos every single week. Don't forget, you can always catch me over on Instagram. It's Mr. Carrington or Mr. Carrington Home. I'd love to see you over there too. But thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. Not the pumpkin! Strangers again